folks, I'm Ian Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2020 Heartland Pioneer QB300. This is a quad bunk model with a super slide that has a U-Dinette. So if that's what you're looking for, this is definitely a video you'll want to pay attention to. If we take a look over on the side, this is our kitchen. You'll see that you have decent prep space thanks to the cooktop cover. If you didn't have a cover on here, it wouldn't have hardly anything at all. But it's a recessed cooktop with that cover, so you do have that space. And of course, you can just flip that up and back like so to access that burners. Plus, kind of doubles as a backsplash. You do have another one back here, but it's a little bit uh, more decorative than functional in my personal opinion. Right down underneath, you of course have the knobs there as well as your oven in case you want to do a little bit of baking. Underneath the sink here, see a little bit of storage. Maybe I'll just sneak a small trash can in there, nothing huge. And then a bank of three full extension ball bearing drawers. So you do have plenty of room for all of your flatware. Anything else you need to store here in the kitchen. Double bowl stainless steel sink, I do enjoy that. As well as this space right back here. And the reason I like this is because if you look directly above underneath the cabinets, you have your electrical outlet. So that way you can put a coffee maker right there. You actually have space for it in the kitchen. LED lights throughout, including one underneath the cabinets in your kitchen here. Storage right up top. Microwave over to the side with a hood underneath. You also see the stainless steel looking panels on the front of your fridge freezer combo. Open that up for you. This unit does run off both propane and electric and has automatic switch over. Making our way to the back. Thermostats mounted right here. It is worth mentioning this one has ducted AC as well as floor ducted heat. So. Uh, both of those are run off the one thermostat, making it very convenient. Right here in the bathroom, I'll take a step in here. So I'm six foot tall, weigh about 200 pounds, just to kind of give you an idea. Uh, it is a little bit tight. You know, I, I am rubbing right here on the wall as well as the countertop. I kind of wish they would have peeled this back just a little bit further. Uh, but, you know, it's definitely manageable. I can do what I need to do. Plenty of leg space, which is good. And because the countertop does come out, you do have a lot more countertop space in this bathroom than you generally see in uh, this setup in this floor plan. Electrical outlet there. You do have the cubby hole underneath in case you want to put some extra rolls of toilet paper or something under there. Plumbing access right there. Mirrored medicine cabinet up top with storage behind that as well as the towel ring off to the side. And when I stand in the tub shower here, again, I'm six foot, I do have enough space to fully stand up. Because it's a tub, it has a higher threshold, a higher wall, so your curtain has a better chance of staying in, you're not getting as much water on the floor. Hand wand makes it easier to shower up, and then you have all your shelves there for your soap and shampoo. Directly across the way, you kind of have some options here. If you want, you can use this as a linen closet, or maybe just have one shelf for a place to put your towels. And then the rest is probably you'll probably want to store kids clothes because as uh, you know when you have a quad bunk set up like this one without any slides you don't tend to have a ton of storage for clothes so you want to make sure you utilize everything that you can right back here though the have the uh, flip up bunk on this side so flips up locks into place you'll see the dinette underneath i personally like having a dinette in a bunk room because it does give the kids a place to sit down they can have a meal there it obviously drops down into a bed and if you don't use it all the time it is very functional right in the back so this will be the majority of your storage right here in the bunk room right up top you'll see that there is a, a hole there so if you want to put like a gaming system or dvd player or something in here you can and then you can have a tv right back there another bunk on the other side a little bit wider 200 pound weight capacity on these bunks by the way lastly if we take a look right down below you'll see the nice large bunk down here you have the window on the bottom and this is where the majority of your storage will be here in the bunk room. We'll lift that up. And as you can see, underneath that bunk, folks, is a ton of extra storage. And as we make our way back into the living space, as I mentioned earlier, this one does have the super slide. Large U-shaped dinette right here. That way you can easily sit four people around. Gives you a lot more elbow room. That's a big advantage of the U-dinette. You generally can't sit any more people at a U-dinette than a standard one, but it does give you that extra elbow room and it drops down into a larger bed. So if you have adult guests, you are able to accommodate them better. Also in this slide is your jackknife style sofa, so it gives you a spot you can sit and watch TV. Great thing about a jackknife, however, is all the great storage underneath. And then you will see in lieu of storage up top, instead they went with two big windows, really helping to uh, brighten up and open up that main living space. 
As I mentioned, if you're sitting on the couch, you want to watch TV, this is obviously where the TV will go. A little bit of storage up top as well as down below. Multimedia center right over here. This unit is Bluetooth capable. In the master bedroom, you'll notice the queen bed actually lifts up. You have some pretty good storage right there underneath. You also have nightstands on both sides with electrical outlets. Whether you need to plug in a cell phone or a CPAP machine, you have space that can accommodate that. Right up above it, you will see the wardrobe with the mirror door, storage going across the top, and then right at the foot of the bed are your two slider doors. That way you get a little more privacy over just having a curtain. When the unit is all closed up during travel, if you need to stop on the side of the road, grab a quick meal, you're able to do that. As you'll see, you have a pathway and I can open the fridge all the way up so you have full access there. The bathroom, however, is inaccessible. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Pioneer QB300. Right up front is a power tongue jack, which makes it a lot easier to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Because all you have to do is flip the rocker switch to raise and lower the tongue. You also have a light right up front for added visibility at night. And there's a manual override in the rare event it does fail. Right behind that are two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover. You have rails here for your battery and underneath is a fully enclosed and insulated underbelly which helps keep out road grime as well as some of the rodents and also keeps it a little bit warmer in colder seasons. Right up front here is your diamond plating which helps protect that front end from rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And around to the side is the pass-through and if you take a look in there folks you'll see that it is completely finished off which is good because that way you have less chance for anything to snag as you are put, uh, taking it in and out. Right down below, not only do we have that enclosed underbelly, but you'll also see this one has power stabilizer jacks. You have a control right up front for the front two, another control in the back to operate the rear two. Bear in mind, folks, that is not auto level. You still want to level the trailer out, but once you do have it leveled, you can use those jacks to stabilize it. That way it's not rocking around as you're moving around inside. It does have the More Ride Step Above Step System, which is a great step system. As you can see, I'm over 200 pounds. I can run up and down the steps. They don't really flex. You have aluminum treads, so that way they don't rust. Uh, and they're very easy to put away. Just open up the door, flip it up, close the door. You are all set. Also comes with the big grab handle, so these steps do come out a little bit further than your traditional set of steps, so that way with the bigger grab handle, you have that control from the first step all the way in. Right up top is a power awning with an LED light strip. Touch a button to roll that out, same thing to go right back in, carefree of Colorado brand. And that LED light strip, you can turn that on and you can have light whether the awning is completely rolled up like it is right now, completely retracted, or if it's you know, partially extended or fully extended, it does not matter. You can still use that LED light strip. Underneath that are two outside speakers, which are controlled by that multimedia center inside. But as I mentioned earlier, that unit is Bluetooth capable. If you want an outside TV, you will see your electrical outlet right here, as well as a cable outlet. So that's where you'll hook your TV up to it. Right next to that is your fresh tank fill. So if you're going somewhere, where you don't have city water hookup, you wanna make sure you fill up the fresh water tank. That of course is the place to do it. Making our way back a little bit further. If you drop down underneath, you will see this one has a propane quick connect. That way if you have an outside grill or something you wanna hook up, you can do that. Just plug it in right there. It'll feed off your two 20 pound bottles up front. The control for the rear two stabilizer jacks are right there. And as we make our way around to the very back, you will see this one has the square tubular bumper with the end caps, which gives you a convenient spot to store your sewer hose. And probably my favorite part is this right here, which is the rack that comes on it. 200 pound weight capacity on this rack. Cool thing about this, folks, is a lot of people don't know this, but if you start attaching stuff to the bumper, it generally voids the manufacturer's warranty, but because this comes with it, obviously you're good to go. You can drop this down, you can throw totes on there, firewood, extra coolers, whatever you need, up to the 200 pound weight capacity. Just bear in mind to subtract the weight of the tire because as you can see, that is mounted here. The nice thing about having it mounted here though is it is probably the easiest place to access the spare. You don't have to get down your hands and knees in the mud or underneath the trailer. If you take a look up top center, you will see backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, Having the prep makes it easier to install. It's essentially a plug and play installation, meaning it'll save you a lot of money on labor. Cable inlet is right in the back corner there and right around the other corner on the off door side. Outside shower with both hot and cold water access. Black tank flush to easily wash out the black tank instead of sticking a hose down your toilet to do it. 
you're gonna take that hose, hook it up right here. Their sprayer is built in the black tank, it'll wash it out for you. City water inlet directly in front of that. And lastly, 30 amp detachable power cord plugs in right there. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2020 Heartland Pioneer QB300. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.